seen um, probably more films in the space of three hours than we would ever, ever see. Um, the venues are super. We stumbled across it accidentally last time. Um, we just were in, happened to be in town and saw the tickets for sale, so we tried it and it, it was a really good experience. I'm really in, enjoying the variety of genres that you can see, but also it's a chance to see buildings, the inside of buildings that you wouldn't normally go into. The animations were my favourite in the city screen. There's a good variety of films to watch as well, which is good. This is, a, this is the second year we've come and uh, the, one of the joys of it is of course um, you get to see places that otherwise you wouldn't visit. The last film we saw was, was, was good quality um, and presumably will continue through the day and we'll be back next year. This drama, documentary, um, animation, um, so I think it's just interesting just to have a look at what's going on um, and obviously yeah it's nice to have it in the setting of York so yeah it's good to see a bit of everything. Well I've got um, two films in screening, um, one at, uh, in the music videos and another one in the uh, family friendly animation so I came to see how they looked and support them. So far we've seen the experimental film and some documentaries and animations. I mean I've lived in York for a year but I haven't been around so much so it's, it's quite nice to go different places. Getting to see a bit of York because this is like my first time visiting and uh, it's such a beautiful city and it's quite intimate. Yeah. I, I love the way that it's sort of, it's, it's sort of showing me another side of York because I've been quite a few times but I've seen parts of York I've never seen before. It really is genuinely a nice balance of programming, great films, clever programming and the sort of geography of the place makes a lot of difference and beats the hell out of sitting in one place all day. It's unique to any other film festival I've been to.